anisothermal compression. In an evacuated enclosure, a vertical cylindrical tank of diameter capital D is sealed by a 3 kg circular disc that can move up and down without friction. Beneath the disc is a quantity of ideal gas at temperature capital T in the cylinder. Initially, the disc is at, a, at rest a distance of h equals 4 meters above the bottom of the tank. Um, when a lead brick of mass 9 kilograms is gently placed on the disc, the disc moves downward. If the temperature of the gas is kept constant, that is isothermal, and no gas escapes from the tank, what distance above the bottom of the tank is the disc when it again comes to rest? So that means when we have equilibrium established again. So if we look at what's going on here, this disc will move down when we place this lead brick on top. Uh, so it's going to be under the influence of the weight of the disc and the weight of the brick. So that will uh, turn into the pressure uh, that has to be balanced by the gas. So let's note that at equilibrium, we must have the net force on the y-axis zero. So that, that's basically what I'm calling the y-axis here. Uh, <clears throat> so we have uh, for the final situation, final pressure of the gas, P gas final, uh, multiplied by the cross-sectional area of the disk, pi capital D over 2 squared, which is the diameter. Uh, that's the force in the plus j hat direction uh, minus mass of the lead brick plus mass of the disc times g the gravitational force should be equal to zero so what i'm calling pg here is gas pressure capital m sub l that's the lead brick mass and m sub d is the disk mass okay so uh, from this equation uh, the equilibrium requirement i obtain final pressure of the gas should be uh, mass of the lead brick plus mass of the disc times g divided by pi d over 2 radius squared so i is for initial f is for final final state now this is what's happening after i put the lead brick before i put the lead brick before putting the lead brick i also had equilibrium and the net force on the y-axis was zero the initial pressure of the gas multiplied by the area pi d over 2 squared the surface area of the disk was equal to mass of the disk times g so that the initial pressure of the gas was uh, mass of the disk times g the weight of the disk divided by pi capital d over 2 squared the area okay now <clears throat> this is uh, basically containing an ideal gas so the equation of state is the ideal gas law uh, so i can write initial pressure of the gas initial volume of the gas is equal to number of moles r times t now the problem statement says we have constant temperature as well as constant number of moles because no gas escapes from the tank okay so this is equal to 
final pressure of the gas uh, times final volume of the gas because N and T are constants. Alright. The initial volume of the gas was a cross-sectional area pi capital D over 2 square times the initial height H. Final volume of the gas is pi capital D over 2 squared times the final height uh, HF. Okay, so if I substitute for the initial pressure of the gas, uh, the weight of the disk MDG divided by pi capital D over 2 squared multiplied by the initial volume pi capital D over 2 squared times H. This is equal to the final pressure of the gas <coughs> which is balancing the mass of the lead brick plus mass of the disc times G total weight divided by area pi capital D over 2 uh, squared multiplied with the final volume pi capital D over 2 squared times H final. So the areas cancel here you can see and we obtain H final is equal to uh, because also the G's cancel. This G disappears. Uh, mass of the disc divided by the total mass, mass of the lead brick plus mass of the disc, uh, multiplied with H. So this is H final written in terms of the uh, given quantities in the problem. Now, if I substitute for uh, mass of the disc, 3 kilograms, uh, and mass of the lead brick, 9 kilograms, 9 plus 3, the original height was 4, I obtained 3 over 12 times 4, which is 4 over 4, so the final height will be 1 meters, so it will uh, come down substantially from its original position. Let's summarize. We have a disk on an ideal gas which is kept at constant temperature T and n number of moles is also constant. If this is at equilibrium. We place a lead brick and it comes down a little bit. We want to know exactly where it stops. So I have looked at the equilibrium condition net force on the y-axis before and after putting the brick was zero. So this tells me that the, cons the total force on the y-axis, pressure times area, is balancing the weight, total weight here. Uh, the total weight was the weight of the disc initially. Now it's the weight of the lead brick plus the uh, disc. So this gives me, because the, it's an ideal gas, N and T and T are constant, pressure times volume is a constant. So I can see from this equation that the final height is the ratio of the disk mass to the uh, total mass times H. Uh, so if we plug in the numbers, we obtain 1 meters for the final uh, height above the bottom.